Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tosh. So I felt inspired to do this video because number one, because it's on my mind all the time. Like as of late, I want to say, like the past two or three years, it's on my mind all the time. It's, it's been on my mind since the rise of Instagram, basically. And um, I posted a video already about my insecurities. So if you want to know what those are, they're pretty much still the same. So I, I said what my insecurities were. And if you didn't watch that video, basically I think that I have a big nose. I have stretch marks on my bum. And um, I don't have any hips. I don't like the fact that I don't have any hips. Also, I'm very hairy too. And I don't really like that. But I wouldn't call that an insecurity. Women decided to flash themselves. And I'm not just talking about their bodies naturally I'm talking about this plastic surgery shit like that became way bigger than what I was used to like yeah of course plas plastic surgery has been around and of course people do it but it became like I don't know it's like the thing to do now like you don't accept yourself you get plastic surgery and before I continue I don't have a problem with people's right to choose to get plastic surgery if like I have my feelings about plastic surgery but I 100% support whoever decides to get it I don't want to take that away from you I would never wish to get rid of plastic surgery I would wish that people consider it longer but I would never take it away from somebody because who knows I'm not saying I would never get it I'm just saying how I feel now and what I feel on the matter is that any choices that I have, or, or any time I've considered plastic surgery, it's never been a choice of my own. And I say that because never, never have I, like, I've always thought my nose was kind of big, especially when I smile from certain angles, it, it widens. Never have I actually considered getting a nose job until being on Instagram and scrolling and seeing everybody getting their nose done. Never have I ever considered it. So does that make that my idea? No, it makes it a pressure and it makes it it makes it something that I've now considered because that's all I'm seeing. Um my hips. I, I always wanted some hips and I, I want like something natural, nothing crazy. I don't want to look like, you know, the sniffer that they use to like stop choking babies and get snot out of baby. Like I don't want to look like Kate Michelle. I just want like a little more curve because like to me it looks kind of straight up and down. But I've never considered getting that until recently from seeing everybody get their hips done and their ass done and anything done to not be themselves. And my problem with that is that how can you, how can you teach confidence if you haven't accepted yourself? Like, of course some days I'm uncomfortable with myself, but every time I'm uncomfortable, I just like, instead of working on that, you just change it all. Like, just take it away. And I just feel like as someone who wants to have children and as someone who's going to pass on my chromosomes to my children, how do I tell them to be okay with themselves if I'm not to the point where I've changed myself? Like if I went and got a nose job, how do I, if my daughter or my son comes out with my nose, how do I tell them like, oh, I didn't like my nose on me, but you know, you don't have to worry about it. Be confident in your nose. Like, how, how do I have that conversation with my child? And of course, they're going to grow up and decide what they want to do. But I'm saying as far as raising them, how do I preach that if I haven't, if I haven't followed that myself? I, I have to be the example. And I feel like people should take more time to think about the psychological reasonings behind this plastic surgery. Like, why are you really getting it? Like... I feel like there's only a small percentage of people that get it for themselves. And I really don't think people think about that. Like, you have to really, really think about it. Like, w like women are going to look exactly the same in I don't even know how long. Like, it's happening so fast. Everyone's going to look the same. And I'm so tired of people saying, if you don't like something, change it. That applies to real shit. That doesn't apply to your fucking lips. That's, that's not a real problem. The fact that your lips are thin and you want them bigger is not a real problem. And I feel like people also don't realize when you get one procedure, you're probably going to get more. You can say you only got one. You only want one. But if I change my nose, what makes you think I'm not going to get hips too? So it can all go together for whatever picture I'm trying to create, you know? 
I just some days I feel like I like plastic surgery some days I feel like it's stupid and I really don't I really really feel like I should just embrace myself and it's a long road but I feel like it's the best one because you know who's gonna love you more than you I feel like girls should ever feel like me where we feel like we have to conform to be something better because you're fine there's nothing wrong with you and like I I didn't want this video to be so long but it is going to be long because it's something that I'm passionate about and I can talk a long time about it but I just had to get it out because I'm just so over scrolling down my timeline and having to unfollow people or or hide posts because it's it's affecting the way I think about myself in a bad way like I feel like I'm not good enough if I were to to decide to get plastic surgery I wish that it was my idea I wish that it was something that I came to on my own not a pressure of Instagram and social media and the wave and all these things that don't fucking last ever and disappear in five years and by that point I will be Pamela Anderson or turn myself into a cement block on the ground and crumbled and then it'll be the next wave of something in the whole in the whole 360 direction and I will already be fucking destroyed so I can't even follow that wave you know so yeah tired of the shit not with it um at this point every day is something different and I'm just working on building my mental strength so that these things will not bother me and I, they will just be something that's going on in the, in the background but I can't even see it I'm so focused like I have tunnel vision so that's what I'm working on every day and I'm not saying it's easy and I'm definitely not saying I'm there because I'm definitely not there and I still have Instagram and I'm still blocking people and just a disclaimer I, even though I hate fucking disclaimers and I never plan on doing them again because I just don't feel that they're necessary somebody's always going to misinterpret what you're saying always I understand that other things can have psychological issues and stem from psychological issues such as makeup, such as hair extensions, weave, anything that has to do with anything can stem from anything. So I understand that, but this video was not about that. So if you would like me to talk about those other things, let me know. But this video was not that. So um, I like talking, give me stuff to talk about, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I wonder if people actually thought this was like tape from a surgeon or something. Like I was about to reveal a nose, a new nose. <laughs> After talking all that shit, I was about to reveal a new nose. Like, bruh. No, this is a horse strip. One of those things that hurt it like hell when you rip them off. Yeah, that's what this is. But I thought it would be a good thumbnail. Like bait. Maybe. No.